as with all the stories in the scriptures, there's usually two levels going on. There's the what actually happened level, uh, the historical level, and we see that Jesus healed this blind man, Bartimaeus, but then there's also the spiritual level, and uh, the spiritual can be moral, or uh, how we're supposed to live, or looking to the future, how this relates to Jesus, uh, and uh, as eternal king, and we look and we see in this, here's this blind man, but who really was blind, and who really was healed, but the spiritual look at this is what what's going on is that we're all blind. We're all in need of healing. We see him crying out, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. Uh, one of my friends was a professional baseball player for a while before he entered the seminary and became a priest. And um, he talks about how when you're in playing a baseball before you know thousands of people people are always shouting things out you know sometimes it's good sometimes it's not so good but they're always shouting things out but he says when you're on the field you don't typically hear individual voices in the midst of the crowd typically it's just kind of this roar of all this the noise of everything every once in a while a voice might cr come out above the crowd and that you can hear and we say there was this crowd here but Jesus' ears were tuned for this man's voice. And in the midst of our lives, Jesus is always listening for our cry, for our call. In the midst of the billions of people in this world, he listens to hear us. Because we're his children. He loves us. And here's this man who is blind and he recognizes, he sees something that others do not. That Jesus is the Messiah. He calls him Son of David. He is Messiah. He sees without seeing. Son of David, some translations have, have mercy on me instead of have pity on me. And I think that's probably a better translation. Pity speaks to the problem. Mercy speaks to the person. And so, at least in our English, it's like, well, have pity on me. Yeah, oh, I'm poor me, but no, have mercy on me. I need God's love. And so Jesus calls him. He says, okay, what is it that you want? And he knows exactly what he wants. Master, I want to see. And he sees. He is healed. And what does he see? He sees the most important thing right now is to follow Jesus. And he follows him on the way. And so often in our blindness to spiritual things, in our blindness to how God is moving in our lives, we can get stuck. And the Lord says, what do you want me to do for you? If we love our blindness too much, we won't ask for healing. But if we ask, if we say, Lord, I want to see, I want to see, he will help us to see his love moving in our lives. He will help us to see how he, he's not abandoned us, but how he's right here, right now, moving in your life, in my life, in the lives of those around us. How his finger of love is touching us and so we ask the Lord, help us to see. Help us to see so that we can follow you unreservedly.